think I want to teach them to be their own teachers and also I want to teach them to think with their own head and to, to be, you know, confident. I think that is above all the other things that, <laughs> that I'm teaching is this thing of like, you know, how to find your own way of just basically being inspired and, and trusting into process and progress and being patient with that. And also how to trust yourself and just like try and even if things don't work, you try again, you try again. So that's what we are kind of doing on this workshop. They just try always to comment themselves what is missing. Because I mean, you know, in a way, I, I don't like this idea of, you know, the teacher should tell you what is missing. I mean, of course, sometimes I'm also trying to, you know, throw a little stick you know, to, to make the process a bit more spicy or something. But uh, um, most of the time I'm trying to let them kind of decide because that's, I feel, how you learn the most just by doing it and by failing and, you know, and trying again and so on. So it's all about also getting to know yourself and how you can work the best. My name is Kaya Draxler and uh, I'm a pianist and composer and I'm teaching at Intertonale. What I wanted to work with the students was sort of um, an area between improvisation and composition, but I also wanted them to bring their own ideas so also talk about what they want to do and what they are working on as individuals and I try to combine all this together so that people can work on what they are interested in and get you know get my help with that but then at the same time I'm also bringing my point of view or my ideas and my way of working as a kind of example of of how you know you can work with music, with improvisation and with composition and how to combine the two things. So I brought um, some of my music to listen to and then sort of explained with a score also on how, what the process of composing was, more or less. So from which point I started and how I developed the composition. And also what the process was later when the piece already came to the musicians and how they sort of shaped the piece. I also brought some scores of other composers um, and we just tried to play them. And I also brought some musical examples of other composers that we, you know, that we just talked about. Somehow from these few examples that I brought, like people kind of got a lot of information, I feel. I, I realized that it was already enough because initially I had a lot of material prepared and I took out quite some of it because I understood that, you know, it's a, it's a process and like you cannot put all the information at once, you know, it's a, they have to work with it slowly so it was nice because it was also a teaching experience for me I mean I learned a lot from from it from how a process works One of the reasons why I was so happy to come here was to have these different worlds in music. I was very interested in how that works. And it's very nice because that shows also on the jam sessions. It's very like, there is no sort of uh, code of what should happen, you know. It can go into more jazzy thing, it can be just a groovy thing, it can go pretty free. So it's a great thing that people also experience that and that we don't get into this like what is better, which music is more artsy or more this, more that, you know, it's just music and, and I'm really happy for that. And I, I think also that probably students learn a lot from each other, just from also having such different teachers 
um, being present and then just sharing what they that's what I imagine that they share you know what they are learning with each other like on each other's workshops so yeah I think this is a great format actually so I congratulate you it's super good that you're doing this here yeah I think I learned a lot from my students. Like, I mean, I, I learned, um, yeah, this thing of like how that things take time and also that you have to trust in that because sometimes I'm impatient myself and now it's funny because I tell them these things and then I see them really happen. So I'm like, yeah, okay, it's really true. And sometimes I even forget myself what I believe, you know? So that was a good thing to learn. Also, I was quite surprised to see how, I mean, this is maybe not so much learning from them, but just learning about this whole teaching thing, because I'm not really doing that, you know, or at least not often, is that, you know, everything you say has a kind of consequence. So everything I talk about, you know, people, of course, will remember different things from what I say, but everything can have an influence on them. So I also learn to be careful with what I say. Schools as such, I, I wouldn't say that they were the most important thing for my musical development. I think, for example, the fact that I was uh, moving to Amsterdam and then there, there was this improviser scene that kind of took me in their, in their circle, that was one thing that really influenced me greatly, you know, and I just played and that was it, what I was saying before, like I just learned by playing, I didn't have a teacher to teach me how to improvise. I mean, of course I knew somehow how to improvise because I had my jazz education, but that's a very different type of improvising plus I had even some you know pre some things I had to unlearn I mean that is not to say that school is always bad of course it was good to be in an environment of school to be with other people who are studying music um, and yeah I did have like for example an amazing teacher for composition in Amsterdam so he taught me a lot and um, I still remember his words very clearly but I also had a lot of sort of useless experiences in school. <laughs> Lots of, yeah, just boring things and also some things that I felt they were unnecessary because they were maybe just more blocking my creativity than inspiring me, actually. Just things I thought I should do and then I was frustrated because I couldn't do it and I thought that I, I should be, you know, there's so much about should in schools, which, I mean, in a way I understand because they have to bring some sort of school program and, you know, they have to grade and all that. So, of course, for that you should know this and that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's 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 very complex. Um, it's a very complex uh, issue, this is being in school for music. But anyways, I did it, so <laughs> I mean, now I'm over with that, with that part, yeah. <laughs>